The great kilt is an ancient and important garment of the Scots. There has been a lot of controversy about the kilt, its origin, and dates of when it was worn. What we do have are some written information from documents and ancient portraits that show substantial facts that such a garment truly existed. Portraits show that the great kilt has been around since the 15th century. The great kilt was an important garment. It served two different purposes. One at nighttime, when it was used as a blanket to keep the wearer warm, and secondly, it was their garment during the day. The great kilt was a large piece of hand-woven wool material about five yards long and 55 inches wide. The wearer would probably lay the material flat on the ground over his piece of rawhide or belt. He would start at one end with a flat piece of material and then he would start to gather or pleat the material until he would have his waist measurement. And then he would leave another flat piece. At this time, the wearer would sit down on the center of the pleats and lay down on the rest of the material. He would then take one of the flat pieces and fold it over the front of his body. And then he would fold the other flat piece of material over the first. The piece of rawhide would be ready to tie or the buckle ready to fasten. When in place, the wearer would stand up, leaving a lot of material that would fall to below the wearer's knees. There are a few different ways the great kilt was worn, just by tucking the material under the belt, tying ends in knots, or fastening an end to one of the shoulders. The great kilt had some adjustments made over the years. Belt loops were added so the wearer could pull a drawstring through instead of doing the pleating on the ground. And then, finally, it was replaced by the tailored kilt in 1792. The top of the kilt was separated from the bottom and the pleats were sewn down, leaving that part for a plaid over the shoulder. Here at the Gaelic College, we still make the kilt in the traditional way. Our kilts are custom made for clients and they can have the choice of three different weights of material, 11, 13, or 16 ounce. Kilts made at the college sewing room are all hand sewn, have approximately 6,000 stitches and eight plus meters of material around the bottom. Most of the tartans come in ancient and modern colors. Ancient colors represent the plant and vegetable dyes used centuries ago. And the modern or darker colors represent the harsher, more alkaline dyes of today. Max is wearing the formal Highland dress of Scotland. He has on a black watch kilt in 13 ounce material. The black watch material is a universal tartan, which means it has been set aside with a few other tartans for those people who don't have their own tartan to wear. He has on a Bonnie Prince Charlie jacket, and this jacket has the long tails in the back and is adorned with silver buttons. For wearing a formal outfit, a tuxedo shirt should be worn with a butterfly bow tie. When a person wears a kilt, they should wear a sporn, and in this case, one that is used for formal occasions with fur and silver decoration on it. Kilt hose and garter flashes will put the finishing touch to this Highland outfit.